Hi everyone, welcome to Lighting Dash Essentials. I'm Don, and this is a uh, shot that uh, didn't come out so good when we shot it because of circumstances beyond our control. For instance, the water there in the lake was uh, certainly not blue or inviting looking. And we want to make a shot that looks uh, very pretty and very um, romantic for these two because it's their engagement shot. So uh, when I got to the top of the bridge and looked down and realized the water was a uh, brown, murky, green, I knew instantly that I would have to do some Photoshop. So this is one of the shots. I kind of chose it at random here of, uh, of the shoot, and let's make it look a whole lot better, shall we? Um, one of the things that I did do earlier before we got to this point was I did create a selection. So, um, and that's the, the way I did that, of course, was to simply come in here and using the magic lasso, I went around the edges like thusly and uh, created an outline and then cleaned it up a little bit where I missed the outline. So let's go ahead and do some other things to this image first before we we um, remove those folks up. I'm going to clean up their faces just a little bit here and I'm going to use my stamp tool on darken and I'm just going to get some of the shine out of the um, out of the face here. So Bear with me for a second here. I'm just going to get rid of some of this shine. It was quite a hot day, and uh, these guys were out in the middle of this hot lake in the middle of town. Uh, we decided here in Phoenix that there'd be a great thing for us, uh, Tempe, to put in this, uh, this lake. And so we put the lake in, and uh, now it's this big pool of hot water that's sort of brown, icky green that just really have to wonder what the hell were they thinking but anyway uh, I'm not the mayor nor would I ever want to be so I'm just gonna clean this up just a little bit okay so it's a nice smile it's a faraway shot okay uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and activate that um, outline that I did by going to my select I'm gonna load the selection main and there it is I'm gonna go to select feather and make sure I've got it on two pixels. That's great. Now I'm going to go Control J. I've now moved those guys up to their own layer. And I'm going to turn that layer off. And I'm going to go back to the background. Now in the background, I'm going to Image Adjustment Color Balance. We know we need some more cyan in that water. And we know we need some more blue in that water. Cyan blue highlights cyan blue shadows cyan blue wow now that's kind of nice let's back off that that looks great now that's what it looked like before now that's what it looks like now of course we've made them a little bit blue but when we highlight that layer we get them back to the color that they were so that's looking pretty good. I'm going to clean this uh, boat up just a little bit, or actually I'm going to darken it and just uh, what I want to do is, is minimize uh, the brightness of the boat. So I'm going to take my uh, burning tool and I'm going to burn the boat down, especially along the water's edge here. I'm going to take his pants down his shirt just a little bit right there. That's great. My next goal is that, well, I have to flatten the layer to do this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flatten my layer. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run an action called Glamour 2. It's the uh, from the Acme Glam, and it's available on my uh, DVD, Lighting Essentials. And now we've got a much more glamorous, interesting photograph, don't you think? I do. With the Glam, without the Glam, I'm going to go ahead and keep the Glam. And I'm going to flatten the image because I'm going to do one more thing to it. I'm going to go ahead and filter. Where's my blur? Get my motion blur. And you see the motion blur there? Okay. I want a little bit more here in the boat. Just a little bit in the boat. There we go. I'm going to say okay. I'm going to go to history. I'm going to get my history brush. I'm going to put it on a flattened image. That's the pre pre uh, history blur or motion blur. I'm going to put my brush in motion blur and I'm going to put my blending mode up here on lighten at about 50%. Now 
Now all I'm going to do is add a little bit of blur to the edge of that boat. That's all I'm doing. Just adding a little blur to the edge of the boat and the edge of the folks here with the lighten tool. Just a little bit. Zoom in on it. You can see what I've done. Just a little romantic movement here at the edges of the of the boat. Okay, let's go back to the size. And I think that's a much more appealing photograph and something that they'll they'll love forever. Thanks for coming along. Visit me over at www.lighting-essentials.com. My name is Don Gennetti. I'm a photographer and a Photoshop artist, and I'm glad you came along. Take care. Bye-bye.